The Royal Australian Navy's Hobart-class guided missile destroyers, HMAS Hobart, Brisbane, and Sydney, are undergoing a transformative combat systems upgrade under the SEA 4000 Phase 6 program marking a pivotal step in Australia's naval modernization efforts. These ships, commissioned between 2017 and 2020, are the RAND's most advanced warships, designed primarily for air warfare, but capable of multi-role operations. The upgrade program, driven by a collaborative alliance of the Australian Department of Defence, BAE Systems Australia, Lockheed Martin Australia, Saab Australia, and Navantia Australia, aims to enhance the destroyer's lethality, survivability, and interoperability in an increasingly contested Indo-Pacific region. By upgrading the Aegis combat system, integrating Saab's Australian interface, and incorporating the Tomahawk weapon system, the program seeks to ensure the Hobart class remains a credible deterrent well into the 2030s. The Hobart Class Destroyer Combat Systems Upgrade Program is a strategic initiative to modernize the RAND's air warfare destroyers, ensuring they can counter evolving threats in a dynamic geopolitical environment. Launched under the SEA 4000 Phase 6 framework, the program builds on earlier sustainment efforts by the Air Warfare Destroyer Alliance and represents a significant milestone in Australia's continuous naval shipbuilding strategy, Plan Galileo. A key achievement was the signing of the first delivery tasking statement in April 2025 by the Combat Systems Integration Integrated Project Team, the CSI IPT, a collaborative body uniting defense and industry partners. This agreement consolidates the expertise of BAE Systems, Lockheed Martin, and Saab, with over 130 personnel in Adelaide and Melbourne leading integration, testing, and certification efforts. Jeff Stevens, CSI IPT Combat Systems Integration Manager, emphasized the program's role in fostering a sovereign combat systems integration capability, stating, by consolidating the unique capabilities and skill sets from across our partner companies, the CSI IPT will ensure the continuous naval shipbuilding and sustainment enterprise in Australia is ready to support complex warships. The upgrades, initially implemented on one destroyer with plans for the others, aim to enhance the ship's ability to deter, protect, and defend Australia's maritime interests. The context for the upgrade program lies in the shifting strategic landscape of the Indo-Pacific, where rising powers and technological advancements necessitate robust naval capabilities. The Hobart-class destroyers, based on Navantia's F-100 frigate design, were introduced to restore air warfare capabilities lost with the decommissioning of the Perth-class destroyers. Equipped with the Aegis Baseline 7.1 Refresh 2 system, they provided a leap in air defense when commissioned, but by the late 2010s, threats such as hypersonic missiles, advanced drones, and ballistic missiles from nations like China and North Korea demanded modernization. Australia's alignment with the UCAS Pact and its deepening interoperability with the United States further underscored the need for upgraded systems compatible with allied navies. The program also responds to domestic priorities, aiming to bolster Australian industry and reduce reliance on foreign supply chains. As Paul Berryman, Acting Managing Director of BAE Systems Australia Maritime noted, Working together as one team ensures three of Australia's largest defence industry primes are united in one shared goal, to equip the Royal Australian Navy with advanced capability. This collaborative approach reflects Australia's ambition to maintain a technologically superior Navy amid regional uncertainties. The upgrades encompass several critical enhancements to the Hobart-class combat systems, significantly expanding their operational scope. The centerpiece is the transition from Aegis Baseline 7.1 to Baseline 9, which introduces advanced integrated air and missile defense capabilities, including ballistic missile defense. This upgrade enhances the ANSPY-1D, radar's ability to track low observable and hypersonic threats, ensuring the destroyers can engage targets at extended ranges. Saab's Australian interface, based on the 9LV Combat Management System, 
replaces the existing Australian tactical interface, streamlining operations for sonar, electronic warfare, and close defense functions. Andy Keogh, Managing Director of Saab Australia, highlighted its benefits, stating, the Hobart-class combat system upgrade also increases commonality across the RAN surface fleet, delivering operating that training and sustainment efficiencies. The integration of the Tomahawk weapon system marks a transformative addition, equipping the destroyers with long-range precision strike capabilities over 1,500 kilometers for land and maritime targets, a first for the RAN. Additional enhancements include upgrades to the Navantia Integrated Platform Management System and potential exploration of directed energy weapons, such as laser systems, to counter drones. These upgrades, initially applied to one destroyer, are expected to roll out across the class, ensuring uniformity and operational flexibility. The financial plan for the upgrade program reflects its strategic priority within Australia's defense budget. Estimated costs range from 3.4 billion to 5.1 billion Australian dollars, covering combat systems modernization at Osborne Naval Shipyard. Specific contracts include 33 million Australian dollars to Lockheed Martin for the combat system design agent role, 155 million Australian dollars to BAE Systems for a six-year sustainment contract, and 1.7 billion dollars for over 200 Tomahawk missiles. Warren MacDonald, Chief Executive of Lockheed Martin Australia and New Zealand, underscored the program's significance, stating, We are leveraging more than 50 years of experience in delivering air and missile defense to navies globally with Aegis. The investment is part of a broader $200 billion commitment to naval shipbuilding and sustainment, supporting approximately 300 jobs in South Australia and 100 in Sydney. This economic impact strengthens local defense industries while fostering sovereign capabilities, aligning with Australia's goal of self-reliance in maintaining Tier 1 warships. However, the high costs raise questions about affordability, particularly when compared to other naval programs like the Hunter-class frigates, prompting scrutiny of long-term fiscal sustainability. The role and purpose of the upgraded Hobart-class destroyers are multifaceted, reflecting their centrality to Australia's maritime strategy. Primarily, they provide area air defense for naval task groups, land forces, and coastal infrastructure, countering aircraft, missiles, and emerging threats like hypersonic weapons. Their multi-role capabilities encompass anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, naval gunfire support, and diplomatic missions making them versatile assets in both conflict and peacetime. Strategically, the destroyers enhance Australia's deterrence posture in the Indo-Pacific, particularly in contested areas like the South China Sea, while supporting AUKUS objectives through interoperability with US and allied navies. The Tomahawk integration shifts their role toward offensive operations, enabling power projection against distant targets. The upgrades also ensure commonality with future RAN vessels, such as the Hunter-class frigates, as Keo noted, enhancing fleet-wide efficiency. By maintaining a credible naval presence, the destroyers contribute to regional stability and Australia's leadership as a middle power.